Alo, da? Cred că Uniunea Europeană în acest moment deja reușește să fie un lider global în ceea ce privește reducerea emisiilor de dioxid de carbon. Deja arătăm un exemplu lumii atunci când punem și într-un pericol industria prin reducerea emisiei de dioxid de carbon. Reducem emisia din mașini. Și cred că o să fim până la urmă capabili ca să arătăm lumii și să convingem lumea că problema încălzirii globale este o problemă absolut crucială și noi, tot, toate țările, nu numai Uniunea Europeană, trebuie să ne asumăm un rol în acest proces. Avem deja un pachet pe schimbări climatice în acest moment în Parlamentul European. Dar este foarte, foarte important ca să avem legi care, într-un fel, se conectează cu aceste legi principale. De exemplu, dacă vorbim despre legea de frișerilor, este foarte, foarte important din punctul nostru de vedere ca această lege să meargă cât mai departe. Trebuie să oprim defrișerile, trebuie să fim în stare să, să plantăm noi păduri și, în același timp, trebuie să fim capabili ca să negociem cu celelalte continente ca să reducem defrișerile la nivel mondial. Dacă o să fim în stare să facem aceste lucruri, atunci vom fi în stare ca să facem schimbări adevărate în viețile oamenilor. How the EU can show leadership to the world in fighting climate change, so ahead of Copenhagen, Poznan, mm -hmm. and uh, and then what measures you're pushing personally to make it a strong climate package. So if you have a particular issue that you're, you're yes, I have a uh, illegal logging, forestation, preservation. Okay. Yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. Yeah, ready. Hello. What, what are your hopes for the EU climate package? I hope that uh, we will be able to reach our uh, really ambitious target and I really hope that we will be able to uh, uh, go uh, forward. Uh, even if we have the 20% target, maybe we will be able to uh, 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 go beyond this target and I really hope that we will be able to, to, to have as much uh, renewables as possible. So what overall emission costs do you think are really necessary in Europe? It's not negotiable, uh, the, the first target, the 20%, but I think that it would be a, a really huge step forward if we would be able to assume 30% uh, uh, and I really uh, sustain this campaign uh, of achieving 30%. And how can uh, the EU use this climate package to show real-world leadership in fighting climate change? I think the European Union is already uh, showing leadership. Uh, because we are already assuming some risk which other continents are not doing uh, in this moment. We are already assuming that uh, uh, to, to cut emissions from our industry, we are already uh, assuming to cut emissions from our cars, we are already assuming a huge risk for our economy. And I really hope that uh, other countries will, uh, will do the same, the USA, India and China will do the same, and uh, uh, to be able to, to make a strong agreement in Copenhagen in the cutting carbon uh, uh, emissions globally, worldwide. Measures will you be pushing personally to make the climate package as strong as possible? We have a, a quite good climate package which will help to achieve a more cleaner uh, 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 environment. But in the same time, we must not forget uh, other laws which are strongly connected. I am pushing right now for a law uh, which uh, stops illegal logging in Europe but uh, also entering illegal log timber into the European Union market. I think it's really important and I think that we are not credible if we are not able to stop deforestation, if we are not able to, to uh, 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 put new forests on the European maps and the uh, worldwide maps. And I think this will be absolutely crucial if we want to have uh, uh, results on this, this, this issue. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank time. you very much. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Do you want to do one uh, in Romanian? Yes. Yeah.